Hello, 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 Carolyn here. Okay, so I was gonna be curious all morning. I've been getting little things that come up on little notices that are coming up on my my um, laptop that say an error occurred while attempting to contact the server. So we'll see if I even make it through more than a couple of minutes of Facebook Live today. But I'm Carolyn Herforth, creator of Evolve Accelerator, and. The reason I wanted to go live today is, first of all, to wish you a happy Valentine's Day. I've got my little Minnesota mug that Cricket gave me. Cricket is my best friend from Minnesota. And isn't Minnesota a very cool shaped state? I think it's very interesting. So anyway, and it matches, and I'm wearing red everything. So um, all for you. Um, but the reason I wanted to go live today is because I am teaching a course right now. It's called Unshakable, and as I was getting ready to, to finish up the last lesson, I was going through one of the topics around business model, and there are five pillars to running a really profitable business, and the first one is your business model. But as I talk with clients and, and work with entrepreneurs about their business model, even this morning I got an email from a client. I didn't have time to respond to her yet. An old client who's been through my accelerator and she's like, hey, I'm looking for that handout that she did, like she went through my accelerator two years ago. She's like, I wanna go back to that handout because I'm looking at some other things in my business and I just need to go back to my business model but I can't find that handout. So of course I'll send it to her. But it's something that we're revisiting on a constant basis and so so one of the things that I thought would be really helpful is if you're working with people and you're and you're delivering something and you're just like, eh, don't love it, or your clients aren't loving it, then there's something that we need to go back to. And I am a total business model geek. I am in love with business models. I am in love. How do you do that? Like that? I am in love with business models because it's totally the filter for how we engage with people. And so it's important, it's so important. If your business model is broken, you know it because you're working too much. You're not getting enough sleep. You don't like the people you're working with. They're not getting the results that you would hope for. You wish that you could be earning more money. So like you don't have time for vacation. You do, like something is off and I swear that like 90% of business problems can be solved by having a, a model that works for you. And I know it's not a very sexy topic and I always wish that I could find another way to talk about it, but you know what, it is what it is. So I'm just gonna put it out there. So, so here's the thing, life is too short for you to be doing anything that you don't love. You are so worthy of having and deserving of having exactly the kind of business that you want. So, Cause otherwise why bother if, you're, if your business isn't doing what it wants. So, so here I'm gonna suggest five steps for you to take. And I want you to write these down. So I call this the love it or leave it exercise. And it might take a while for you to land on exactly the right mix of offers. And so here are some steps that you can do on your own. I also have self-study programs, live retreats, my accelerator, like, and I actually have, um, a uh, little freebie, I'll actually um, pop that into the comments here if you don't already have it, but I am very determined to share this information with you because um, creating your business model is so incredibly important and um, you know that your offers aren't right if you're not making the kind of money that you want, if you've got clients that you don't like working with, if you're working too much if you're I was gonna say working too little but I don't think there's anything wrong with working too little if you're um, you know if it's hard creating like if it's forcing things if um, you don't have time for vacation if you don't have money for vacation like there are a lot of things that will play into this and I truly believe that if there's ever anything wrong in your business the very first thing to go back to and look at is is my business model the source of any headaches that I've got going on? Is that the problem? And so as I was preparing for the last class of 
uh, Unshakable, which is my program on how to understand, articulate, and own your value. And so I was putting that together. I have um, this exercise I do called Love It or Leave It. And it's five steps that I'm going to, I feel like fives, I, I, I seem to do everything in fives or most everything in fives, but there are five steps that I recommend to help you figure this out. And so um, I will say that that always going back to your business model as is this where things are happening. So even if some, someone doesn't buy something that you're like, oh, gosh, I'm really disappointed that they didn't buy, you might want to go back to your business model and say, did I structure it right? If it's not something they love, I would look at that first and then I would look at at whether or not you actually have sales skills or not. So, but I always go back to business model first. And it's interesting because I had two clients email me who have been through Evolve Accelerator, which is a six month accelerator for business women. They both emailed me in the last couple of weeks saying, hey, I'm going back through the recordings and stuff that they did. One of them was in the accelerator like two or three years ago and another um, probably in the last year. So it's like this stuff is enduring. And so I wanted to share this with you because if there's ever a time or a place in your business where things just aren't, you're not loving it, then let's look at whether you need to leave it. So um, the other thing is, it is a process. It's not something that you just get it right and it's perfect for the rest of your life. There are things like your clients change, you change, your goals change. All sorts of stuff is gonna come up along the way on the journey. So it's okay to always be looking at what the right mix of offers is. And, you know, I work, I, I have self-study programs on this. I've got retreats that I host um, virtual and um, in person in New York. I also have um, uh, my Evolve Accelerator and private clients where I'm going through this stuff. So it's just a constant, you know, it's a constant um, ongoing process for people. But what we really want is for you to fall in love with your offers and for your clients to fall in love with your offers. So I'm going to give you the five steps before I get kicked off of Facebook Live again. So the first thing I want you to do is block out a chunk of time where you have no interruptions. So no like crying kids, no no music, no distractions, no crazy smells or clinking dishes, no screaming kids. Like it can't be, oh, I've, you know, I have to leave in 15 minutes. I have to go run this errand. Like, no, just give yourself a little chunk of time. And I want you, that's the first step. The second step is to list everything that you offer on a single page. So just take one piece of paper and just jot down all of the different offers you have. So this can be free offers. It can be events. It could be talks. It could be private coaching or, you know, a private service that you deliver, a done for you for people. So everything that you've got. So that's your second step. So just lay it all out on one piece of paper so you can see it. And maybe you need a flip chart to do it. That could be possible. And then the third step that I want you to take is to sit with that list in front of you and scan the full list. Just scan it. And as you scan it, I want you to observe your energy as you do it. So are you elated about, oh, I love this offer, I'm so drawn to it. Do you feel kind of indifferent about stuff? Do you feel a pit in your stomach when you look at something? You're just like, oh, that is so not what I wanna be offering. Is your eye drawn towards a particular love it or hate it offer that you currently make to people? do that so just pay attention to your energy it's like not up here energy is like below the neck all right so do that and then the fourth step is i want you to choose one offer so hopefully you have more than one but choose one offer that has the most positive charge for you and feels like oh i love this so much and then I want you to jot down every single thing you love about it. So, do, and, and look at what are the characteristics of it? Why do you like it? Like, think about, oh, I love these clients. I mean, I've got a program. It's a group VIP program. I love it so much. And not just because I love my clients. 
it's because I love who I have become that that they want to keep coming back for more and 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 how much value they get from it that they keep resigning another six months another six months I love that but I've learned so much through them and coaching them like where blocks come up and how do we deal with that so that's something where I could just look at that and just go oh I love it now I feel that way about 95% of my offers I probably have a few offers where I'm like eh, it's okay you know but it's not like those are usually ones where I don't have any kind of interaction with people where it might be you know but they're so few and far between I'm just at that point where I really pretty much love I have had some bombs let me tell you that though I've had stuff where I'm like actually I was just talking about one this morning with a client I had a, one program that I used to teach and or facilitate I should say and my I think my heart was well I know my heart was in the right place but I did not like how it continued I felt like it lost its it's like it lost its power and its strength for people and so I actually just made the decision this was a couple years ago I made the decision I'm like I can't do this anymore because I don't feel like people I think it's enabling people I felt like people were mailing it in and it wasn't serving them to their highest good and so I actually got rid of it and replaced it with something that costs I think six times as much actually I can't remember what I used to charge for that it's been so long um, and may, maybe even 10 or 12 times more I can't I'm not a hundred percent sure maybe somebody can correct me but um, it like it was a massive price increase but it also gave them exactly what they needed and that's actually the program that has become such a, a game changer and a life changer for a handful of these clients who are in it so like I know I can look at that and just go oh I love it I know I can look at you know my anything I do that in where I'm interacting with people where it's just like yes love it so I want you to do that same thing and what you'll probably find as you go through it is you're gonna see that the value you deliver like your value that the transformation that you deliver is massive and that's probably one of the reasons you love it so much and also you might find that you like it because you're allowing your best clients to live into their core values so you even if you're healing chronic pain and you have a client who loves like has a total sense of like a core value is adventure but you love that you're able to help that person deal with their chronic pain so they can go off and do adventures like that's a core value of theirs and that might be something that is also one of the reasons you love it so much so that's the fourth step is like really look at which of these have a positive charge for you and then the fifth step I want you to do is to choose an offer that holds the most negative charge this is the where we have to start looking at the leave it okay so jot what down what you don't like what is it you do not like about this offer is it the hours that you have to keep the delivery of it I mean if you're a personal stylist and you only want to work daytime hours but your clients are corporate and they can only have you come to their place at night that might cause a disconnect you might enjoy the work but you might be dealing with the wrong clients and that's a business model issue so just look at that negative charge jot down what you don't like and then brainstorm ideas like how could you flip it what could you do to fall in love with each of with with that thing what could you do maybe it's to create a better value stream that flows in and out like to and from that offer it might be to raise the price it might be to offer fewer sessions maybe it's to have more sessions that are longer maybe it's to deliver better results let's get real right maybe it's better to deliver it in person versus virtually maybe you need to add in another piece um, that goes along with it that feels like the missing link maybe you need to make it easier for your prospects to buy maybe you need to get rid of it and start from scratch and those are just a few of hundreds of things that you could do to change up an offer that you make to help you better align offers that you don't love 
I will say that I know that that can like create so much fear in the heart of an entrepreneur because you might be like, the thing I don't like is the thing that's my cash cow. Now, what am I going to do? If I have created this, my entire business around this one offer, I mean, maybe it's, you don't want to do one-on-one -on -one work anymore. Maybe it's t like tearing you down and wearing you out. Maybe that's the case. Okay. So if that's the case, what, um, you know, th that there becomes that, how do I rethink this? How do I relook at it? So I'm, I'm going to recommend, I'm actually going to pop a, um, I'm going to pop a link in here. I have a quickie course that is, it helps you make reliable moolah. So it, it helps you start looking at the, the, your business model, the offers and the value streams that you have, and it's free. So I'm just going to, um, oh yes. So I'm just going to, um, there we go. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in. And so I would highly recommend that you do that and um and take advantage of that you can find it at carolynherford.com forward slash quickie q u i c k i e dash course um and i'm laughing at all like the innuendo here quickie valentine's day quickie i don't know anyway um okay enough i just wanted to make sure that you got a taste of steps that you can take to like take control of offers you love so that you can love them even more and offers you do not. And this actually, this video is going to help you tremendously as you go through the quickie course, because the next, the, the five days, each of the five days covers a different topic. And so you can take what you gathered or gained from today and use that to continue uh, going a little deeper with your business model, as well as looking at, well, how does my thought leadership play into this? And, and am I doing a good job of incorporating that? And what about my marketing strategy? Do I, am I doing a great job of marketing myself? Um, and how does my business model support that? So anyway, enough for today. Happy Valentine's Day for you, um, to you and for you, however you want to do it. I'm so glad that you had a chance to watch this. If you're watching this on replay, you can still grab the quickie course yourself. Um, I'm offering it for free for now. This is something that we'll, um, we'll put attach a fee to at some point, but right now it's free. So make sure you grab it and download it and go through it. It's not like it's a big onerous task at this point. And what's really cool is it boils down just in five days what I take six months to go through with my Evolve Accelerator clients. So it's a nice little treetops view of what that, um, what you could get from that. So I think that's it for today. Have a fabulous, fabulous Valentine's Day. Well, and if you're watching this on replay, um, have a fabulous day. It doesn't even have to be Valentine's Day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.